introduction products of certain activities including agriculture forestry fishing and mining are obtained directly from nature these are termed as primary activities unlike these activities manufacturing essentially signifies the processing of primary products so it is called a secondary activity in this chapter we shall learn about manufacturing in more detail manufacturing can be defined as the activity of making things of utility by industrial processes through the process of manufacturing raw materials acquire utility and achieve more value for instance unless and until iron ore is transformed into steel by industrial processes it has no use manufacturing ranges from making articles by hand or through simple processes and technologies to manufacturing articles with sophisticated tools and complex machines classification based on size in terms of money invested number of people employed and production quantity industries can be classified into the following categories cottage or household industries the smallest manufacturing units are placed under this category it is characterized by hand manufacture using locally available raw materials at home the goods may be produced for consumption in the same household or for sale in the local market potters weavers blacksmiths carpenters and craftspersons are usually engaged in cottage industry only small capital and marginal transport expenditure are required for such industries small scale industries these involve organization of skilled craftspersons and employed labor in which there is a greater use of capital more machines electric power and raw materials that are both locally available or brought in from outside products are more standardized and of better quality production caters to a larger market but on a small scale outside the areas of manufacturing food products textiles consumer goods ceramics wood products are all categorized as small scale industries large scale industries these industries are capital intensive they utilize heavy machinery consume a lot of power and employ numerous skilled laborers raw materials are obtained from a variety of sources or are even imported production is on a large scale and caters to a national and international market technology is specialized and quality control is important the iron and steel industry the automobile industry and chemical manufacturing are some examples of such industries classification based on ownership this classification is based on the way the means of productions are owned and controlled private sector enterprise if the means of production belong to a private individual or a group of private individuals who are partners it can be described as a private sector enterprise profits derived from the sale of output belong to the individual who owns the manufacturing unit and who makes all the capital investments in it the tata iron and steel company tesco and the ford motor company are two examples in this category public sector enterprise if an industrial establishment is owned controlled and managed by the state it is known as a public sector enterprise the government makes all investments and the marketing of the goods produced is through government agencies the bharat heavy electrical industries is a public sector unit joint sector enterprise this involves an industry owned and managed jointly by the government and an individual or individuals the amount of investment and share of the profits depends on the level of involvement of both sides in india some petrochemical units are joint sector enterprises cooperative sector enterprise when a group of individuals pool resources to set up and manage an industrial venture on a cooperative basis it is called cooperative sector enterprise all profits and losses are shared among the members of the cooperative many textile units function as cooperatives textiles the textile industry is one of the oldest industries in the world it includes textiles made from three types of fibers 
natural vegetable fibers, cotton, jute, flax, hemp, natural animal fibers, wool and silk, synthetic fibers, nylon, polyester, acrylic and rayon. Textiles are manufactured not just for clothing, but for furnishing, packaging and other industrial uses. Before the Industrial Revolution in Europe, in the 18th century, textiles were used using handlooms. India was one of the largest producers and exporters of textiles. However, after the Industrial Revolution, machines like power looms began to be used to manufacture textiles all over the world. This meant more output, finer quality, lower costs of production and a saving in time. Cotton Textiles the cotton textile industry needs large quantities of bulky raw cotton, power to run the looms and machinery and labor, both skilled and semi-skilled. These factors therefore determine the location of cotton mills. The UK, Japan, China, the US, Brazil, South Korea, Russia, Pakistan and India lead in cotton textile production. The first cotton mill in India was established in 1854 in Mumbai. India now has over 80 manufacturing centers for common textiles. Maharashtra, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal and Karnataka have several mills. The Indian cotton textile industry is facing stiff competition from the cheaper and more durable synthetic fibers. However, the industry still employs millions of people and cotton fabrics and garments are a major foreign exchange earner through exports. Woolen Textiles The woolen textile industry is based near supplies of power, labor and raw material like the wool of sheep and hair of goat. Both handlooms and power looms are used mainly in Europe, especially Germany, Italy, UK and France, as well as the US, Canada, Russia and Central Asian countries manufacture woolen textiles. Wool is obtained from Australia, New Zealand, Argentina and South Africa. Woolen textiles in India are produced in Punjab, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra. Silk textiles, China, Korea, Japan, Malaysia, Sri Lanka and India lead in silk textile production using both handlooms and power looms. Some silk textiles are also manufactured in Russia, the USA, Italy, Germany and Switzerland using imported silk thread. In India, the leading centers of silk production are Karnataka, Assam, West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh and Bihar. Jute Textiles Based on the fiber of the jute plant that grows mainly in India and Bangladesh, the jute mills are located near the source of raw material, labor, power and water supply. India and Bangladesh lead world production. There are also mills in Myanmar, Thailand, Kenya, Italy, France and the UK. Jute mills in India are located in West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Andhra Pradesh. Linen textiles are manufactured from flax. It is produced in Russia, Eastern Europe, Germany, Belgium, Britain and Northern Ireland, Japan, the US, Turkey and China are small producers. Synthetic textiles include cellulose fibers from wood cellulose to make rayon. Synthetic fibers made from chemicals derived from petroleum and natural gas are used to make nylon, polyester, tecron and acrylon acrylic fiber. The countries leading in the manufacture of synthetic textiles are the US, Russia, West European nations, Japan, Australia, Brazil, Mexico and Argentina. Some important centers in India are near petroleum refineries in Maharashtra, Kerala, Rajasthan and Gujarat paper. The coniferous forest trees are best suited for the manufacture of pulp, paper and newsprint, bamboo, fibrous, plants and breed, bagaze, the waste fiber after the juice has been extracted from sugarcane etc. provide raw material for paper mills. Besides, paper manufacturing plants also require chemicals such as caustic soda and bleaching powder, large amount of water and power for the machinery. The world's leading producers of paper and newsprint are the US, Canada, Russia, the Scandinavian countries, Norway, Sweden and Denmark, Germany, UK, France, China, the CIS countries and Japan. 
India's paper mills are in Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, Odisha and Maharashtra. Aircraft Having first developed on a large scale in Germany, aircrafts are manufactured in the UK, France, Italy, China, the US, Russia and Japan. The industry is extremely capital intensive and requires skilled technical labor. India has manufacturing units in Bengaluru, Kanpur, Nashik and Lucknow. Cement Cement is the basis for the construction industry. It uses raw materials such as limestone, clay, shale and gypsum. As these raw materials are bulky and cheap, cement manufacturing plants are located close to their source. Good transport facility is then required for quick distribution to market. Power and technology are also important in this industry. Most countries have cement producing units that cater to the demands of the housing and construction business. China, the US, Russia, Germany, Japan, Australia, Brazil, Argentina, France and Italy are important producers of cement. India which has a booming housing and construction sorry, which has a booming housing and construction sector is a leading producer of cement. Delhi, Dwarka, Sindri, Madhopur, Jabalpur and Dalmianagar are important centers of the industry. Information Technology Information technology can be truly regarded as the industry of today. It is due to the meteoric growth and worldwide expansion of this industry that we are able to connect with the rest of the world at any time. The information technology industry is based on the development in two major areas. The hardware industry is related to the manufacturing of computers and their peripherals, chips, disks, drives and other components. The software industry prepares programs that enable computers to operate and enable information and data to be processed. Analyzed and interpreted, the software is the media the computer uses to perform various tasks and functions. The IT industry is creating new jobs at breakneck speed. It is an industry which depends on research and cutting-edge technology. Each breakthrough means greater productivity and more white-collar jobs, office jobs. IT-related businesses, software development, web-based services, project consultancy, plus outsourced services which include call centers, medical transcription and business process outsourcing or BPOs are today creating millions of jobs worldwide. As the location is dependent on a skilled labor, force and capital, it can be located anywhere in the world where the two are available. Surprisingly, it is the developing countries that offer skilled labor at affordable rates and are thus becoming the nodes for this new industry. The IT industry is today booming in the US, Western and Central Europe, Russia, China, Japan, Malaysia, Thailand, Taiwan and India. India has a flourishing IT industry. This industry has been successful in creating centers of excellence in the most backward states. The Indian IT industry and software technology parks which have a concentration of software firms in Bengaluru, Delhi, Mumbai, Pune, Chennai, Chandigarh, Kolkata, Hyderabad and Tiruvannantapuram are growing very rapidly. This has given an impetus to job opportunities in the country. Unemployment among educated youth and regional economic disparities can gradually diminish with the spread of the IT industry in India. Other noteworthy industries are metal fabricating or the manufacture of metal products, engineering units making industrial, electrical and agricultural machinery. Machine tools, electronics, electrical equipment, pharmaceuticals, consumer goods, fertilizers and food processing. Manufacturing Industries Classification Source of raw materials, output, size and ownership are some of the major criteria that we adopt to classify manufacturing industries. Classification based on source of raw materials Industries can be categorized into the following types depending on the raw materials used. Agro-based industries. These industries involve the processing of agricultural produce. Some examples of these industries include sugar mills, cotton textile mills, food processing units, 
meat processing unit and dairy plants. Marine based industries, these refer to the processing and canning of products derived from marine or aquatic organisms such as fish, shrimp, mollusks, etc. Forest based industries, these industries signify the processing of products from the forests. For instance, wood is made into paper or timber can be used for various purposes. Other examples of forest-based industries include the manufacturing of raisins, gums and turpentine. Mineral-based industries. These industries include the manufacturing of minerals obtained through mining and drilling. Petrochemical industries, iron and steel plants and aluminium units are some examples of these industries. Classification based on output. As per this classification, the nature of the product determines the type of industry. Basic industries. Through these industries, materials useful for other industries are produced. The iron and steel industry, for example, makes steel for further use in automobile, heavy machinery and other industries. Aluminium plants turn out sheets that are used for manufacturing aeroplane, cable and utensil. Consumer good industries. These industries involve the manufacture of goods that are ready for direct consumption. Some examples of these industries are watchmaking, electronic goods units, textile mills and pharmaceutical plants. Some major industries. Let us now look at some of the major industries involved in the production of a variety of goods required by man. These industries can be broadly divided into two categories. Heavy industries including iron and steel, metallurgical, heavy machinery, heavy chemicals, transport equipment and fertilizer industries. Light industries including textiles, sugar, food processing, electrical and electronic goods and various consumer goods industries. Iron and steel the iron and steel industry involves the manufacture of pig iron, steel and steel products such as sheets, bars, pillets, rods and cables. Its use in most other industries either as a raw material or in machinery is what makes this industry the most basic of all industries. The iron and steel industry is an indicator of a country's industrial status. To make steel, the main raw materials are iron ore, limestone, cooking coal, option, cooking coal and manganese. As these are required in large quantity and because they are bulky, the iron and steel mills are preferably located near the source of the raw materials. This industry also requires a good transport system. China, Japan, Russia, the US, Ukraine, Germany and the UK lead the world production. France, Southern Australia and India are also major producers. Brazil, South Africa, Colombia, Italy, Canada, Poland and Belgium are smaller producers. India's iron and steel industry is primarily located in the Chota Nagpur Plateau where all the raw materials are available. The main centers are Raurkela, Bilai, Asansol, Durgapur, Bukaro and Jamshedpur. Other centers are Bhadravati and Vijayanagar in Karnataka and Salim in Tamil Nadu. Chemicals The chemical industry uses a great variety of raw materials to produce an enormous range of products. Acids, bases, salts, alcohol, alkalis, caustic soda, dyes, bleaches, regents and drugs among others. As most of the products are used in the manufacture of different industrial products such as glass, fertilizers, rubber, leather, paper, pharmaceuticals and others, we can say that this is a basic industry. The chemical industry uses minerals like coal, petroleum, sulfur, potash, limestone, gypsum, salts as well as wood, vegetables and animal produce as its raw materials. It also depends on skilled labor and the latest technology and requires a huge capital investment. The US is the world's largest chemical manufacturer, Russia, the CIS states, Germany, UK, France, Italy, China, Japan, Canada and Australia are also major products. In India, 
अलवाय जमशेदपुर कोलकाता मुंबई एंड अहमदाबाद आर इम्पोर्टेंट सेंटर्स फॉर द केमिकल इंडस्ट्री वडोदरा मथुरा हल्दिया एंड ट्रॉम्बे आर सेंटर्स फॉर पेट्रोकेमिकल्स शुगर इट इज एन एग्रो बेस्ड इंडस्ट्री शुगर मिल्स यूज जूस फ्रॉम शुगर बीट एंड शुगर केन एंड कन्वर्टेड इन टू ग्रेन्यूलेटेड शुगर क्रिस्टल्स एज केन एंड बीट it reorate in juice content and are perishable in nature it is necessary for sugar mills to be located near the growing areas power and labor are other locational factors russia the us france germany italy and spain use sugar beet to manufacture sugar while cuba brazil indonesia kenya pakistan and india use locally grown sugar cane Most of the sugar mills in India are located in Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Bihar, Punjab, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. Aircraft Having first developed on a large scale in Germany, aircrafts are manufactured in the UK, France, Italy, China, the US, Russia and Japan. The industry is extremely capital intensive and requires skilled technical labor. India has manufacturing units in Bengaluru, Kanpur, Nashik and Lucknow. Cement. Cement is the basis for the construction industry. It uses raw materials such as limestone, clay, shale and gypsum. As these raw materials are bulky and cheap, cement manufacturing plants are located close to their source. Good transport facility is then required for quick distribution to market. Power and technology are also important in this industry. Most countries have cement producing units that cater to the demands of the housing and construction business China the US Russia Germany Japan Australia Brazil Argentina France and Italy are important producers of cement India which has a booming housing and construction sector is a leading producer of cement Delhi Dwarka Sindri Madhopur, Jabalpur and Dalmianagar are important centers of the industry. Transport equipment. The manufacture of transport equipment is important in all technologically advanced countries of the world. It includes the manufacture of motor vehicles, aircraft, ships, locomotives and rolling stock like coaches and wagons. These accelerate the movement of goods and hence contribute towards development. Automobiles. The manufacturing primarily in the automobile industry is of the assembly line type therefore the units are located in areas where labor raw materials and power are easily available Japan China the US Germany France South Korea Brazil and Italy are leading automobile manufacturing nations Brazil Canada Russia and India also produce a substantial number of automobiles with the vast population India has a large market for automobiles that are manufactured in Delhi Gurgaon Kolkata Chennai and Mumbai Pune ship building this industry is usually located near the seaside where steel is easily available the first ship building nations came up around the mediterranean sea today south korea china the uk netherlands germany spain portugal france japan russia and the us all manufacture ships in india visakhapatnam kochi and kolkata are important ship building centers railway rolling stock Manufacture of locomotives, wagons and coaches first began during the industrial revolution in England. Now it has spread to the US, Russia, France and Germany in a big way. Jamshedpur, Chittoranjan and Varanasi are centers of locomotive manufacture in India. Kapoorthala and Perambur make coaches and wagons.